long as they'll host it, not because I don't know how, but I'm just tired of trying to fight off what should happen. Mm -hmm. You know, so let somebody, I'm paying somebody $2 extra a month to let them fight off the Russian hackers. But um, once you, if you use WordPress or any kind of software installation, you constantly have to keep up to date because every plugin, every widget, every piece of code you add to your site is a door that somebody's trying to figure out how to walk through that door. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, one of the, I don't necessarily mind being hacked, but I do mind if people come to my site and their computers get infected. I take that person, I don't, I feel bad about it. It's okay if I get cold, if I give you one. So, um, I, I, I no longer self-host my sites. I actually uh, pay, pay a company to host my sites and take care of those security issues. But even they, they can get hacked. So you can't eliminate it, but you can take some reasonable steps to reduce your risk. I think getting hacked can happen to anyone. Marvin Luxembourg, the founder of his account, got hacked about two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. So it can happen to the highest of the high. Uh, but I would suggest um, changing your passwords every two or three months on all of your accounts. I wanted to say, as an artist, come back to the question which you posed, as an artist and an author, that's how I came to blogging. A couple things that I did that I learned the hard way. Uh, when I first started out, I was wishing to just flood the market with um, what I was doing, with my artwork and with, with my writing. And part of flooding that, I knew that I needed to join communities, communities that, is, that were filled with people that represented the readers or the audience I was trying to attract. And so I tried uh, a huge amount of communities and got to a place where I spread myself too thin because when you join the community, I wanted to engage. I didn't just want to post my stuff and, and overwhelm people. I actually wanted to engage. And it took me about two years to realize um, what communities really were my home base. And that was um, a trial by fire and it was ride and die. And it was really, really, really um, something that I learned the hard way. So I want to say to the artists and, and creative folks out there when you have